Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about the new episode of My Hero Academia on Season 7 on Episode 6 or Episode 144, you know? This episode right here was actually nice and it looks like to me we finally get to start the event that we all have been waiting for and don't know how long this this uh, entire um, sequence of war is going to last but I'm pretty sure it may last... It may not last for too long compared to what it felt like in the manga, you know. Call me crazy Milanakas, you know. I mean, like, I may be saying some stuff here and there, but anyone who's been reading this this war arc in the manga has been in torment for a very long time. But I'm pretty sure it may feel like it's going to be a little short compared to, like, um, when it comes to the anime. Because we all know the anime adapts a lot of chapters. And depending on the situation, there'll also be some filler too involved. But we'll have to see how this goes, you know. So if anything else, let's just get this started. Um, we get to see that the plan that before we go into the present time of the war, we get to know how this plan was, how this plan worked out. We get to see Shinzo and Monoma being involved. Mon Monoma, we'll get to him in just a moment. As for Shinzo himself, um, he apparently is like um a big, big like um big key big major key to this because the way how to trick all for one is to try to lie to him and bring him out in the open but unless he has informants you know and this involves Aoyama and his, and his family but Yoroji actually is concerned because how do you know that he won't detect a lie or something and we have to it that's where Shinzo comes in and that if there's no ill will or intent or anything else it should work out so that was one part of the plan working out now the second part of the plan warp gate you know this is where Monoma comes in and must master the quirk in a few days and it may seem difficult at first but Monoma managed to pull it off although Monoma does doubt himself here and there but Aizawa or should I say Vlad King encourages Monoma saying, hey, you're not some side character. You're going to be the star of this war, you know, which I have to agree with, you know. But we had to it eventually with Shinzo's brainwashing and managing to get Aoyama's family to lie and manipulate all for one to think everything's okay. Combined with like, um, whatchamacallit, um, with Monoma's warp gating, this is where they have to, this is where everyone is going to work hard to try to accept. This is where the part where everyone's going to be separating everyone else, you know, etc. And and we have to it that um, this is this is all or nothing right now because right now they are gathering many of the villains in one place in order to separate them and face them in locations that they be able to have the advantage up against, you know. And we get to see that everyone gets separated, of course, uh, but there's one part of the plan that got interrupted or got ruined. And this is where I kind of got annoyed about it too. I mean, like... um. I'm glad the ad adaptation is going well with it, but in terms of when this happened in the manga, I was very much annoyed. I think I understand why it happened or why it had to happen here and there, blah, 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 whatever the manga author's mind was going, you know, it would have been better if something else was involved anyway. But I guess that's me being being nitpicky and being really ridiculous. But um, other than that, um, let's continue. Um... Um, we have to, of course, you know, everyone gets separated, of course, like, um, everything seemed to be going to plan, well, they managed to get off one into the mountains with Endeavor, Hawks, and many other heroes, but as, and then we have Todoroki against Dabi, or should I say Toya, you know, and then, and we have to it that Shigaraki is in the, is in the fortress where he's at a very big disadvantage, you know, where this will involve him knowing that he has a, coffin in the sky you know u.s fortress but this was all planned out you know i mean after much well thought of and the thanks of the genius level in intelligence hatsume you know may hatsume they managed to like um get this ua fortress to be shigaraki's like um tomb i guess if you want to call it However, one part of the plan that was not supposed to be that was supposed to be there is Deku being with Shigaraki, but Toga somehow manages to capture him with with the work of her own like a wires thing with her own sucky sucky sh machine whatsoever. But that aside, I don't know how that's gonna turn out anyway. But no, actually, it turned out bad for everyone. You know, I don't know what I'm saying, but. As for the UA Fortress scene with Shigaraki, it looks like everything seems alright, you know, while they, it's all planned out to face Shigaraki and his decay and they managed to erase his quirks whatsoever thanks to Eraser Head being with Monoma and Monoma managing to copy his move, his quirk and so forth, but the ugliest part is is that they did not realize this, Shigaraki, 
Shigaraki or all for one in sharing two minds in one body, I guess, or so, ends up having to like um, have one trick up their sleeve, and that's summoning a bunch of fingers from his like um, I believe his left hand whatsoever. And Shigaraki's like, you know, I thought you were cool eraser hair, but you know, you're just pathetic. You're just really pathetic, you know? I'm really disappointed. We get to see that this was really crazy, you know? I mean, Shigaraki or Off One had this, like, um, had this one trick up their sleeve that doesn't seem like a cork at all, and it's a freaking, like, um, massive amount of, like, summoning fingers of fingers of fingers. I'm thinking in my mind, oh my gosh, that is just really, really, gosh dang disturbing, but at the same time, I think it was well done, you know? That aside, um, I'm looking forward to, like, um, I'm looking forward to the next episode because this is where it's going to get a little kind of annoying and ju a little smallly juicy, I guess, be depending on your point of view here and there. But that uh, that aside, um, looking forward to like um, how this turns out, you know. So until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. So I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day. I'll see you guys next time. All right. Peace out. Bye bye. Toot toot.